Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that a lot of you guys have been asking me to do recently. I did my room tour. Um, so if you guys are new to my channel or just haven't been watching for that long, my family moved about six months ago, so obviously I got to review my room and everything. So everything is pretty neutral with pink and gold kind of themed like accents. So I love the way that it looks. I think it's very like classy and girly. And yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking to see it, like I said. So one of the hardest things about moving to my new room is that it is a lot smaller than my old one. It's about half the size. So it did take me a little while to kind of adjust and figure out how to organize everything, but I'm finally at a point where I like the way that it is. Um, I'm sure a couple things are going to change over time, but for the most part, everything is done being decorated. So I'm finally able to share it with you guys. And and honestly, I and I already filmed the actual tour part, and honestly, it didn't take that long because, like I said, it's not that big, and there's really not a lot to show you guys. But I did my best to explain like where everything was from and everything. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask in a comment down below. And I do also show you guys my closet. It is very very small. If you guys did not see the video where I showed you my old closet, it was walk-in. It was honestly like half the size of my bedroom now, so it was a big adjustment going from that big one to this teeny tiny one. So a lot of my clothes are actually stored under my bed in storage bins like my winter stuff and sweaters and um, stuff like that so not all my clothes are in my closet and if any of you guys have any small rooms like I do um, maybe you can get some ideas for like organizing for my room like I have stuff hanging on the back of my door and I have like a shoe organizer and the storage bins um, under my bed so definitely try any of those out if you have a small room also you can go on like Pinterest or something to get a lot of ideas so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna show you guys my room and I hope you guys like it so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will go ahead and talk to you guys in my next video bye okay so right now this is what you see when you go into my room I'm just standing in the doorway so when you walk in the first thing that you see is my bed and then over here, I just have my desk and my dresser. Okay, so this is where I was just standing. That's just the door coming into my bedroom. So on the back of it, I put a hook to hang purses and hats and stuff like that because obviously my room is a lot smaller, so it's just easier to have stuff hanging like that. And then I've recently gotten the habit of keeping my keys and my wallet just hanging on the doorknob there. And then in case anybody's wondering about my keys or my wallet, I got my wallet from Target on clearance like two years ago. It's really old, but it's just pink and white with seashells on it. And then my key fob is pink and white seersucker with a green trim, and I got that off of Etsy. It was really cheap. It was like $4. And then on my keys, I just have a bean boot and an E. So then moving on to my nightstand, we got it from either Home Goods or Marshalls. I'm not positive. But obviously it's just mirrored, and that's one of the things that I knew I wanted. I definitely wanted to get a mirrored nightstand, so I love the way that it looks, and it has like the gold trim detail on it. And then for some decoration, I just have a framed picture of me and Ryan, a candle, a little fake flower, and then obviously my lamp, and that's the one that I had in my old room. I just spray painted it gold. And then also it has two little shelves, so on the bottom I just have a pink and gold box for some storage, and then I have a little Tory Burch bag just as decoration because it's pink and it matches my room. So then above my bed I just have a monogram that I ordered from Etsy and then spray painted it pink, and then I made that little tassel banner thing. I think it looks really, really cute, and it's really easy to do. It's just with tissue paper, so you can look up how to do it. It's really, really simple. And then for my bed, it's the one that I had in my old room. We just got it from Goodwill and painted it white. And then for all of my, like, bedding, I got it from Target, I'm pretty sure. So I have light pink sheets, a white comforter, and then two decorative pillows. And then, like I said, I'm pretty sure everything is from Target except for the white pillow. I got that from Marshalls. And then moving on over here, I have my dresser. And this drawer is not closed all the way, which is really annoying. And then over in this corner of my room, I just have my dresser. It's white. It's from Ikea. Again, it's the same one that I had in my old room. And then just in this little spot right here, I have shopping bags full of, like, other shopping bags. I know that's really weird. I don't know why I keep them, but I do. So on top of my dresser, this is what it looks like. So on the far right, I have some flowers. I don't always have flowers there, but my grad party was this weekend. And this is what I used for the centerpieces, so I just hung on to one for my room. And then I have a little candle holder. It's hard to tell, but it does have an E on it. Um, so I just thought that looked really cute and then again a framed picture of me and Ryan and that frame is from Marshalls I have this pink and gold sign that says hello beautiful obviously and that's from Marshalls as well I think actually it might be from TJ Maxx and then I just have a little picture of me and my grandma and that frame is from TJ Maxx as well and then moving on to the wall over here so this is in between my dresser and this window 
I just have all these little canvases that I painted. So this top one, I just painted light pink and I put a little pineapple on it and um, I put some like little glitter on it to make it a little more girly. And then I have this one that I painted to mimic Jelly's Be Jammin' from Lily Pulitzer. And then on the very bottom one, I made it more of a nautical one and it's just pink and white striped with a navy anchor. And then on the top of the anchor right there, I just wrote Seize the Day in metallic gold for, I don't know, just like a cute little touch. Honestly, I'm not really sure if I like the way that they all look together, but for now I don't really feel like changing it, so it's going to stay like that. And then over here I just have another window, and then my desk is right here. So this is where I do my makeup, and whenever I'm filming a video I pull this chair out, and then you see this behind me. So in the corner I just have my trash can, my tripod, a random basket full of stuff that I don't feel like doing anything with. And then this is what kind of my little makeup storage setup looks like. And then I have this canvas above my desk that says Pop Fizz Clink. I think it's really cute. It kind of reminds me of like Kate Spade or something. And it's just gold and sparkly. And I think this is from TJ Maxx. So yeah, I'm not going to go into detail about all this stuff. If you guys want to see a makeup collection, I guess I could do one. I don't really have that much makeup, but... Yeah, so far this little setup has been working out for me. My desk is from Goodwill. Um, it really needs to be repainted, and because I do makeup on top of it, it gets really, really dirty. Yeah, that's from Goodwill. We painted it white, and then I put little crystal knobs on it to make it more girly. And then again, my chair was from Goodwill, but we painted it white and redid the cushion um, with that floral pink print. And then my desk underneath has a little shelf there, so I got some organizational baskets. Um, from Target that I just filled up with stuff again for more storage and then I have this little wire shelf here I don't really know if I like it there but it's working so I'm just gonna keep it there for now and on here I just keep books and CDs and stuff and then moving back over to here this is my closet door next to the door coming into my bedroom so this is what my closet looks like. It is very, very small, so I did have a bit of a hard time getting it to work. But one thing that really did help is doing the shoe organizer on the back of the door. So right now I just have uh, most of my summer shoes in here, so like sandals and whatnot. And then I have my summer clothes hanging. And underneath my bed I have some storage bins with all my winter clothes just to help cut down on what I have in my closet. The top is not organized at all. But if you guys see this like green color, um, that's the color my room was when I moved in. And then this darker green color is what all of the trim was. And there was a guardrail that color. So we did paint it white and this kind of cream color just to keep it neutral, which is what I wanted. But I figured I would just let you guys know that. It was so ugly and so hard to paint over. But yeah, that's what my room looked like when I first moved in. So yeah, that's my closet. And then we are back to my door where we started. So like I said, my room is very small. I don't really have a lot going on, but I love the way that it looks. And I just wanted to share it with you guys.